so we are in captain's stall and his he had a flare-up of his right hind leg again we're not quite sure what happened but captain spiked a temperature of 104.3 today so we have dr sarah j who's our veterinarian out at the farm today and she's administering some medication to captain to uh, it's an antibiotic and it'll, it'll help him feel better so till we f determine what what exactly caused that fever it could be tick related so captain got a shot of banamine and that made him feel better and he did eat some of his food this morning and we put electrolytes in it to get him to, to drink because it's over 90 degrees today and we want to make sure that the horses keep drinking and we have him in his, fan, in his stall with a fan going full blast so right now the syringe that you see is going right in one of his veins so that it gets through his system a lot faster not all medicine can be delivered through the vein some of it's delivered through the muscle so the two terms are intraarticular which is in in the vein and intramuscular which is in the muscle did yeah. i get that right no ah! <laughs> all right sarah correct me intraarticular means in the joint and i hope you're not giving anything that way <laughs> oh no so what oh intravenous <laughs> that's right <laughs> all right so there's three terms here so be sure to watch in your question and answer session. So intramuscular is in the muscle, intravenous is in the vein, which is what's happening here, and intraarticular is in the joint, which none of us are qualified to do except Sarah. So this was a, a big syringe of medication that went into his neck. It takes a while because you just can't shove it all in at once. we can position the camera up here a little bit. Sorry about the camera work, folks. I'm in this corner of the stall here. <laughs> All right. So she's going to swap out the big syringe for the small syringe. Is that still more of the same meds or is that saline? Okay, so she's flushing the line so that there's no medicine left in the line. She's flushing it with sterile saline. All right. And she's going to remove the needle and she puts her thumb over the injection point so the blood will clot and he won't bleed all over the place. Just gives it a minute to coagulate. And here's our patient. All right, so we had talked in a previous video about temperature, respiration, and <laughs> and what else? What, were, what was TPR? Temperature, pulse, and respiration. So his temperature was elevated, his pulse and respiration were okay. They were high, it wasn't out of the normal range. So anyway, we're gonna sign off now and stay tuned for the next video.